afternoon. I'm Sylvia the Crafty Old Lady and I think I mentioned last time that I only had space for one more prompt in this journal and this is a sneak peek of my things that I'm going to be using in that last prompt. But I still have 15 weeks of Marguerite Miller um, collages to do. So what I'm going to do today is just make a small 15 page little kind of booklet to um, finish out the year. So that's what I'm doing today. Thank you so much for joining me. I am, appreciate you being here so much. And today is a little bit of a gloomy day, but I can't complain because we have not had a gloomy day in a very long time. <laughs> so it isn't raining, but uh, it might rain. So as I said before, I needed to Get, I don't have any more room in here for my Marguerite Miller collages, so I need to make a small journal to fit the remaining 15 assignments. And I decided to make some coffee dyed papers, and I have a, I'm, I made extras, but uh, anyway, <laughs> I have a signature here of. Uh, what is it 16 pages and like in this journal what I did was I did every other page I put the prompt on I'm not going to have room to do that in this journal because I didn't want to make it 30 pages um, so I'm going to just number my assignments um, on the assignment and keep this in a little envelope on the front pocket. So for this one I cut down a Dollar Tree yellow um, file folder and I got some Dollar Tree sunflower fabric and I for the life of me can't get all the wrinkle or, or the creases out. You know how folded fabric gets. Um, if you have any tricks for getting that out let me know. But what I think I'm going to do is just glue in the middle with just a little bit of glue stick to hold it in place and then sew around the edges. So let's do that. So I have a bright orange thread as my top and I think it's tan on the bobbin side and I'm just going to leave it in there. I don't, I think orange will look kind of pretty. And so that's what we're going to do. And I'm going to have a big zigzag stitch. So let's get moving. I don't, I don't always remember to do a back stitch. <laughs> Whenever I do this, I always think my fabric is as flat as it can possibly be, but I always get air bubbles and puckers in, in them. So I think maybe this side looks a little better. I'm just going to trim this a little bit off here. And... Uh, I need to... Oh, well, first this is, see the stitching, the orange stitching, and then this is what it looks like on the inside. I think I'm going to put a, like a library card pocket in here to fit this. I might have one pre-made. I bought some a while ago. Got an orange one and a pink, uh, yellow one. I think these are too big though, yeah. They're too big. Maybe I'll just put a straight across pocket. But anyway, I was also thinking of strengthening the spine with a little strip. And then I'm going to sew in the signature, which you will see on the spine. I had this little strip here, but I don't think it's going to strengthen the spine that much because it's not that much... It doesn't seem to be giving it that much stability. I decided to go with a piece of watercolor paper because it, it was stiffer than the cardstock that I had. 
So I'm just going to put a line of glue on my spine and then attach that to it. Make sure I got enough glue on here. Uh, not where I don't want it. Okay, so that's going to go like that. Just like that. And I'll let that dry for a minute. And I'm just going to guesstimate. I'm not measuring where my holes are going to be or anything like that. I don't think it's necessary. And then we'll measure up. Well, not actually measure, but <laughs> poke them out, mark them out on the the. Uh... Oh, that's not even. Look at that. Oh well. Actually, I'm going to put this on and <laughs> poke the hole again. I think I'm just going to do it right in here. I just have to make sure I don't I think it's better to do it like this separately cuz my spine is so tiny. I want to make sure I'm getting it on the spine. Okay, let's poke them again just to make sure. Yep, they didn't move around. Okay, now I'm going to take my pencil and okay, I think we're good. We're in the middle of the spine. Let's mark it. <laughs> This spine's so tiny. Alright, there we go. And I gotta go get my thread. I'm not gonna get fancy with this spine. I'm not gonna put any beads or buttons. It's too little. Alright, so we got that. And now I'm just going to, look at that, it fell off. I'm just going to go get my thread and needle ready. I decided to just use a brown embroidery floss thread for this. And I prefer using a rounded needle for book binding. Oh, there it is. It was still on there. <laughs> um, but some people prefer a straight needle, but I actually do prefer a rounded needle for um, attaching this, the signatures to the spine. Yeah, I thought brown would be a nice accent color with the sunflowers. Let's see if I can get it in right now. Okay not that difficult when your signet you only have one small signature <laughs> okay and then we go up to the top okay and this is going to be the tricky part is going back in the same hole without piercing the embroidery floss it's very hard to do with fabric covers. All right, that's in the same hole, but I did pierce the string. I think I got it out now. Oops. Oh, uh, I think I did pierce it more than once, it seems. Oh my goodness. Yeah. It won't come out, so it's definitely been pierced somewhere. Ugly ug. Welp. I'm gonna have to untangle it. I'm trying to figure out where it's pierced, though I don't see it. Well, maybe it's not. Oh dear, oh dear. 
<laughs> oh God. I thought it was going to be easy. Is anything ever easy, honestly? I pulled it through and it wasn't. It wasn't. I don't know what it was stuck on, but it wasn't pierced, so. So now what I'm going to have to do is just. Maybe it is pierced right there. Now it won't go through. So. <laughs> I'm going to go back through with this side. Oh my. A whole new hole. I'm going to have to put some tape on this spine. On the inside. Okay, that's the hole we want. Okay, that's tight. Now we need to get the other one back in. And that's going to be a trick getting it into this needle. And I'm not going to bore you with that because it's going to take a while, I have a feeling. I got both my threads in. I'm going to cut this one out. It's so long. And I'm going to tie them in a knot. You can see there where I poked extra holes, unfortunately, but I think it'll be okay. There. So this is my new Marguerite Miller journal, and now I just have to find some paper to put in my pocket. I've got some pretty ones here. That's pretty, but it's, it's too small. Um, I don't know, I don't... This one I think might look okay. It's got some yellow in it. So let's get this cut right about, let's say like right about here. Or actually a little smaller. I don't, I want to see these pink poking out. And then we'll do it right about here. And I'm going to use a glue runner and some glue, I think, for the corner or for the edges to detach it. And I'm going to just make a little notch here. Okay. So, here's my glue runner. <laughs> I'm also glue running my desk. I want this to be kind of sturdy because I'm going to be taking things in and out of it quite a bit. Well, at least 15 times, right? Okay. So I want it to last. All right, so what I'm going to do is for number 38, I'm just going to write a 38 up here or I might stamp it. And then I'm just going to take this out of the little stack and put it behind and uh, that's how we're going to do it so I didn't have to add extra pages just to mount my uh, prompt list on so that's it for this thanks so much for watching uh, if you're interested in coming back and seeing how I do the next few collages I would really appreciate that and I'd appreciate if you liked this video, if you liked it, and subscribe if you haven't already. 
Happy, thanks so much for stopping by. I hope you're happy, healthy, and safe. And we'll see you again next time for actually, uh, I think it's number 30, what, 36 is coming up soon. All right, bye-bye, guys.